we are here at the 2023 Toronto Super Pro Show. And next to me, I have Tim Caldwell. Tim, so when did you get your, when you first get your pro card? Last year, actually. So uh, I was 22, NPC Nationals, just a little over a year ago. So this is my first year competing as a pro. I got my third pro show under my belt and been competing like crazy this year. Glad to get another one done. So it's on to the next. How many shows have you done so far since you've been a pro? So this was third. I, I, I started off my pro debut at the Arnold Classic in March. And then I went to uh, Brazil, did the Arnold Brazil. Now I've done the Toronto Super Show. Next, I go to the UK to compete in the True Classic. I forget what the name of that one is. It used to be the Arnold UK. And then after that, I should have enough points to go to the Olympics. So that's the game plan. How did you get into bodybuilding? I played wheelchair basketball for 16 years. I played uh, at a university in Texas, Arlington, Texas. Arlington just happens to be the same town where Metroflex Gym is located. A lot of people have heard of that. So I eventually finished playing wheelchair basketball there. I found out about the gym. I went there. I got a trainer and they basically said, you know, I have a shot at competing if I wanted to because I was already in really good shape from playing basketball. So I was lean and they said, if you want to do it, you can do it. So I hired a trainer and I learned from the best. I mean, Metroflex is no joke. You know, Ronnie was in there training. Branch Warren was in there training. Ever since then, I've been doing it. Metroflex, man, we all know about Metroflex across the world. You know, Metroflex is everywhere. Tell us a little bit about your injury. I mean, how did you come injured? I've been in a wheelchair for 20 years. 20 years. I had a uh, car accident. I, I fainted at the wheel and drove off an overpass and landed on the highway below and just the impact shattered my vertebrae and severed my spinal cord so i'm a complete t8 been in a chair a long time so you learn how to make the most of it and sports and bodybuilding is just i use it to keep going in life what would you tell the new guy that's in a wheelchair now he say he's six months into the chair what advice would you give him i would give him exactly the same advice that a guy gave me there's a guy by the name of David Kiley came into my hospital room two, two days after my accident, basically told me all the things he had done. And David Kiley is basically the Jordan of wheelchair basketball. He's got nine national championships, nine gold medals, five or six MVPs. The dude's incredible. And he basically told me, he says, look, man, it sucks that you're injured, but it doesn't mean life's over. You can still do all these things. So like thinking about all the stuff he'd done, I just kind of said, yeah, he's right. You know, it doesn't have to mean life's over. You can still do these things. I mean, I never in a million years would have thought being injured, laying in a hospital bed, that I would become a pro bodybuilder. And here I am. Go out. Don't think too much. Like, thinking will mess you up. Just go do the next thing you need to do and stay after it. Beautiful, beautiful. Last question. You play second today at the 2023 Toronto Super Pro Show. How does that feel? Good and bad. <laughs> I was this close to punching my ticket to the Olympia, which would have meant that I didn't have to go to UK. Hats off to the winner, man. He looked great. I, I can't take it away from him. He looked really good. So at the end of the day, I mean, I did finish second and I've improved a little bit every show that I've done this year. So that's all you can ask for. So absolutely. You heard it first from here, ladies and gentlemen. Tim, we appreciate you. Let's keep it going.